but a keynote on the full force of the NI platform wouldn't be complete without first taking a look at advancements in the core of our platform, our software. And to do that, please welcome to the stage, Omid Sajudi. <laughs> Software runs the world. Software allows you to automate so you can gain efficiencies. Software allows you to iterate faster, and ultimately, software is what allows you to innovate faster. And when it comes to test and measurement, we understand your software needs better than anyone else. We use that knowledge to support you at every level, from intuitive driver APIs to productive development environments. Powerful test executives and systems and data management solutions designed specifically for test and measurement. Now, an important part of our software platform is LabVIEW, our flagship and highly productive development environment. We understand the challenges that you face every year get more complex, and so we continue to enhance LabVIEW's capabilities to better support you. And this year, I'm proud to announce the latest versions of LabVIEW, LabVIEW NXG 3.1 and LabVIEW 2019. Now, in LabVIEW 2019, amongst a lot of other features, we've introduced two powerful collection data types, sets and maps. These will allow you to easily create and manage complex data. We've also introduced debugging probes with a history feature that will further streamline and speed up your debugging workflows if you were ever to make a mistake. In the case of LabVIEW NXG 3.1, we've also been working on streamlining workflows. For example, those that allow you to take advantage of state-of-the-art package technology for software distribution. We are enhancing hardware support in LabVIEW NXG with the introduction of the LabVIEW NXG FPGA module with support for USRPs and Kintec 7 Flex Rios. And for all you Compaq Rio fans out there, it's coming soon. Now, our development teams are moving really quickly, so this year I'm really happy to announce that we've moved to a digital-first software delivery model so that you can get our latest software as quickly as possible. Now, as we do all the time, we're constantly working on the openness, interoperability, and extensibility of LabVIEW. So to help me talk about this subject and make a very special announcement, please welcome to the stage Roy Lurie from MathWorks. Afternoon, Roy. Hey, Omid. It's great to have you on the NI Week stage. It is such a privilege to be up here on the NI Week stage. I never imagined I would be here talking about how our two companies are working together. Well, yeah, that deserves an applause. Well, Roy, it's a real treat to have you here. And if I could use one of your catchphrases, your presence here is a step function change in the relationship between our two companies. And it's all in service of our mutual customers. That's right. Both of us lead large development organizations building innovative software for you, engineers and scientists, so you can do your most creative work. So I have a question. Who here in the audience works in an organization that uses MATLAB or Simulink alongside NI hardware or software? Raise your hands. Right, right. Is that literally everybody? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Well, Roy, it's probably not a surprise. And I know we're both really motivated to create tools that give these innovators um, the tools that they need to push in their domains. Yeah, so the researchers at the Renew Robotics Laboratory here at UT Austin are working on improving the quality of life of folks living with disabilities. Through biomedical analysis and robotic design, they're using the NI platform as well as MATLAB to improve rehabilitation. And Stephanie earlier talked about engineering workflows at every stage in the product design cycle. And for those engineers like those who renew robotics in the initial design and simulation phase, often that starts with taking some real world measurements and then designing a unique algorithm to address their design challenge. They then test that algorithm in simulation before moving it into hardware. And Roy, you and I well know, I'm making it sound like a very linear process, but it's actually pretty iterative. It's a very, very iterative process and the iteration is critical. The faster you can iterate, the more scenarios you can explore, the quicker you can get your breakthroughs, solve those engineering problems, and really innovate. And so it's, a, it's very, very powerful. 
Yeah, and when you use MATLAB for simulation, that gives you the ability to do that simulation on the desktop. And when you're ready to take that simulation into hardware, NI gives you rapid access to hardware. But let's face it, our tools have not always worked well together. So, for example, in the past, if you've done that simulation in MATLAB and you wanted to use NI hardware, you have to go through a tedious process of rewriting that algorithm. That's right. So it's not just about the design and simulations part of the workflow. It's the complete workflow that needs to be coherent. And if the tools don't work together, you really have a problem. Yeah, and that's why we think the best things that we can do for you in the fields of science and engineering is to ensure better compatibility between our two products. And so today, NI and MathWorks are proud to announce a new collaboration to do just that. We have a shared vision to seamlessly integrate the two tool, tool chains together so that you can pick the right tool for your task at hand wherever you are through the workflow, not having to worry about product incompatibilities or lack of support or manual recoding that's quite error prone. You can just use the tools together. Yeah, and we already have some interfaces, right, Roy, between our two products. Yes, so the interfaces we have today, already available today, are the interfaces between NIDAC and MATLAB, as well as between Veristand and Simulink. Right, and we've been working on a new interface, that of native MATLAB support in LabUNXG. So to give us a demo of that, please welcome to the stage Darren Gillis. Okay, Darren, wow us. What have you got to show us? Here we have a robotics prototype from Renew Labs at UT Austin. And in this experiment, we'll vary the coefficients for the control algorithm for this robotic hand while it grasps a solid object. Now, each time the robotic hand moves, we have a chance to calculate the overshoot of the control algorithm. And we can use that script written in MATLAB to calculate that. Now, the researchers at Renew would often have to run their experiment and then export all that data to Excel and then import that same data back into MATLAB in order to do basic analysis and comparison to simulated data. But all this importing and exporting is wasted time that could be spent working on the next robotic prototype. But now we have a feature to help Renew get that time back, the LabVIEW NXG interface for MATLAB. With this feature, you can now do both acquisition and analysis, the power of two tools in one workflow, without requiring a painful code conversion. So my demonstration here, I have a MATLAB script and I can call it directly from my LabVIEW application. I drop a LabVIEW VI block diagram node to call a specific function, and when I switch to the panel and run it, I'm now stimulating the MATLAB algorithm with data from live hardware, all without leaving LabVIEW NXG. And one more thing, you can also modify your MATLAB code or set breakpoints and debug your MATLAB code while the VI is running. You said while the VI is running, right, Darren? You got it, Amin. All right. Well, Roy, I think you, yeah. Well, Roy, I think you'd agree that's a step function improvement in productivity. Uh, and we're really excited to see all the animations you'll create as a result of this. Now, I should point out that this is just the first step. And I and MathWorks have started sharing product roadmaps, so you can expect our future products to work even better together. Roy, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks, Amin. Very nice to be here and looking forward to seeing you in many more NI weeks in the future. Definitely. Thank, Thank you. you, Roy. Okay, Darren. So earlier, Stephanie talked about the need for data visualizations at many stages in the product design cycle. So this felt like a good place for us to innovate. Talk about what we've done in LabVIEW NXG in that regard. Right. So last year, we introduced the LabVIEW NXG web module, which enables LabVIEW users to build web-based remote engineering UIs without having to require the skills of a web developer. We introduced the concept of web VIs, VIs that run entirely in the web browser. And these VIs are great for talking to either LabVIEW or LabVIEW NXG. OK, so for example, if we go back to the uh, engineers at Renew Robotics, when they are done with lab prototyping and they want to do some field testing, they might want to allow a physician remote access to the robots in the field. And the LabVIEW NXG web module is a way to do that. Exactly. And we've added even more features in NXG 3.1 to make creating dynamic web VIs easier than ever. So to show this, I brought an example with me that talks to the same robotic prototype here. Uh, it's a web VI diagram that can send coefficients and update commands to the robot. But I haven't yet created the panel, haven't yet finished the panel. Now, what I really want is a web VI panel that can adapt automatically to different screen sizes, such so that the same web VI 
can look as great on a widescreen monitor as it does on a smartphone. Now, usually getting this right requires a great deal of understanding of HTML. But with NXG 3.1, we've added some features to make this dramatically easier. And one of them is a new panel positioning mode we're calling Flexible Layout. So when my WebVI is in Flexible Layout mode, and I drag and drop controls and indicators from the palette, they drop relative to other things on the screen, which enables LabVIEW the ability to create the responsive layout rules and dictate how things will resize when you do view this in a browser, something now easily doable from the Run button. And when you look at the finished product and you resize the window, you can see that my most important controls and indicators stay on screen at all times. That gives me the power as a researcher to change coefficients, start and stop motion, or drop the object the robot is holding. OK, that's awesome. And that didn't require any HTML5 programming. So Darren, we talked about these uh, WebVIs being really good for sharing. Talk about the best way to share these. One of the easiest ways to host a WebVI is to use SystemLink Cloud, NI's cloud hosting solution, which comes for free with every LabVIEW NXG web module license. Now, after you've built your WebVI and you can upload it to your SystemLink Cloud account, you are in control of who can access that panel. You can either keep it private and share via email address or make it public and visible to anyone. OK, that's awesome. That's pretty easy, Darren. Thank you for joining us. OK, so <laughs> I wanted to reiterate one point that Darren made. The LabVIEW NXG web module works not only with LabVIEW NXG, but with LabVIEW 2019. For, so for those of you who haven't yet switched to LabVIEW NXG, you have no excuses not to try this. Mm -hmm.